और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे चचा फिल ने बेड़ा गर्क कर दिया लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी कम्युनिटी हैज बिन डूम पोस्टिंग गाइस सर्स वर डूम वीडियोस आर बीइंग मेड लेफ्ट एंड राइट कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी इज इन ट्रबल एक्सबॉक्स इज किलिंग कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी एंड द ट्विटर स्ट्रीट्स आर नॉट स्टॉपिंग मैन चेक दिस आउट इफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टेक्स कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी डाउन द राउंड ऑफ हेलो इट विल बी डिजास्टरस गाइस देयर इज अ वीडियो दैट आई वांट टू शो यू एज़ वेल लाइक दिस वीडियो लेट्स गो फॉर टू लाइक्स ऑन द वीडियो टू व्हिच द गाइस सर्स Told you this wasn't a good acquisition. No matter how bad things get for Call of Duty, I can always count on the store to be working. And we're gonna check this video out, guys. Get your goggles on, sit down, kiss your loved ones goodbye. It is Joe over right now. The entire Call of Duty community is throwing stun grenades on everybody and throwing everybody from the top rope like it was some Royal Rumble. Man, check this out. Nineteen hundred people lost their jobs, which is just so counterintuitive to what Microsoft said they wanted to do with COD. They said they wanted to expand it. They wanted to get on more devices than ever before, reach more players. Uh, they wanted to expand their buttholes and wallets. Ever before, but in doing so, you're going to get rid of a bunch of your staff. It just it really didn't make a whole lot of sense. And today mm. we have many more people coming and, and out. There are like two sides of the coin, right? Like some people are saying that bro, they're just trimming the fat. They're firing devs that sit on their ass doing absolutely jack. They're firing the devs that made the skill based matchmaking. They're firing the devs that made those that friendly. <laughs> But that's not true though. I mean, to, to a certain degree, that might actually be true, where they're firing devs that just sit on their ass and. Uh, but 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 also there's the opposite side that that is also saying that bro it is Joe over bro they fired the QA testers and that is a fact right we recently learned that they fired the QA testers which means and I know like a lot of people be like well as usual the games have been trash and the games have been full with bugs you're not wrong you are absolutely correct so don't let any bozo say that you're wrong the game has been the games have been trash right but what this means is that they fired the QA testers so what this means is that now the games are probably going to be more buggy if uh, if Phil Spencer actually goes in this route and does not hire more QA testers but keep uh, let's now roll sharing their stories talking about how they got laid off what they were working on this that and the other and then Charlie Intel posted this because they of course have all the industry insiders and sources oh. behind the scenes that give them their information and we see this Sledgehammer Games lost 30% of their staff High Moon Studio oh, lost 10% of their staff Toys for Bob lost over 30% and then of course Treyarch can uh, and Toys for Bob, it's not like Toys for Bobby Kotick. Guys, like, it's not that. I know for the longest amount of time that was like the meme that they're just making toys. Uh, toys! Uh, for, for Bobby Kotick, but nah, bro. To toys for Bob had like massive involvement in Call of Duty as well. I mean, damn, 3,000 devs, guys. <laughs> now down to. Uh, they, they fired some Halo devs or some like devs from Bethesda as well. So it's not like 1,900 Call of Duty devs, but I, I would love to know your take too. Raven, uh, Solid chat. State Studios, Beanie. And Demonware had many layoffs as well. Every Call of Duty team saw a reduction in staff. How this affects COD in the future is to be determined. Because again, going back to it, like here we are in Modern Warfare 3, a game that actually does have a lot of positives, which I will be talking about a bit here in this right. video. But the game also has a bunch of yeah. negatives. Like you guys see Packet Burst right here, skill based matchmaking, where my teammates are doing absolutely nothing. The fact that my team never gets backfilled when people end up backing out. Ridiculous stuff like that. And, and uh, the honest truth here is this, right? Like what I'm noticing thing is that everybody on YouTube is like saying that this is a bad thing this is a bad thing and sure I'm also not saying this is a good thing I'm kind of like right in the middle with this one Bruh. all I'm saying here is that we don't know how this is really gonna turn out is this really gonna be a bad thing and and Twitter is also saying like they're they're trying to ruin Call of Duty but what I'm noticing is that in the YouTube comments and I've read like a lot of your guys comments and 90% of you guys are literally saying that this is a good thing fire the guests fire the guests like that's what I'm really seeing in the YouTube comments and a lot of people are saying that well uh, you know didn't you guys want to change now well here you go right like Call of Duty has been trashed therefore they're firing the desk and when you actually say this it kind of makes sense to me now listen I'm not saying that being fired from your job or being let go is a good thing right like obviously we can collectively agree that it sucks right like most of you guys watching this video have been in this boat I, I have been in this boat i was fired from my job a long long time ago i'm talking like decade plus ago right uh, like i worked at so, several different jobs and i was also fired and it's it, it, it's not a good feeling right so most of us are, are probably adults i mean some of you would be teenagers and some of you would be uh, very few of you would be under the age of 12 years old but uh, but but that's the thing most of you watching 
have experienced this firsthand. So we're all used to this, but most people are are literally like, hey bro, like Call of Duties have been trash. They they got a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Maybe this is a good thing that they fired. And the opposite is also uh, true, right? That they fired some of the senior devs, uh, like devs that are actually that that actually are experienced, that are good from the franchise. They have not fired people that design these like BBC bundles, these twenty dollar micro devs. You know, they have not fired those seconds. They have not fired the seconds that develop the skill-based matchmaking. Yes, the same algorithm where you play five games and seconds know the size of your dung. Seconds know how many kids you're gonna have. If your girl is prego or not before she even find out. They have not fired those people, okay? Those devs are still there. They are ready to uh, make another algorithm right now. So those are not fired, but the devs and the QA testers that are very, like, important to the franchise, they are apparently let go, so... I don't know, man. You feel what you're doing right now, bro. What you doing? But again, though, I'm like 50-50 on the situation. Time will tell us whether this turns out to be like a bad thing or a good thing. But let's continue. Do you think things like that are ever going to be addressed with less people working on it? If you're Microsoft and you're trying to expand COD, make it better, reach more devices and players than ever before, you're going to do that with less people? The narrative initially was Microsoft was going the, to get... The opposite point here is that back in the day, should they had less devs the games turn out good which is correct which is correct but times have changed right like now they gotta do 4k resolution they gotta make 4k 20 dollar bundles as well Bruh. you know what i mean and that's a fact they gotta make bundles in 4k but uh, the other argument that i'm seeing is that they have so many cooks in the kitchen so they fired a lot of the staff and like a lot of people are saying they're trimming the fat i'm not agreeing i'm not disagreeing okay this is what people are saying and the only re and the only reason i'm not agreeing or disagreeing is that we do not know the outcome will the outcome be triangle boom or will the outcome actually gonna be good the the the, the thing here is that maybe with less devs they're gonna make a better product or, or or maybe it's gonna turn out to be a disaster and it's gonna be filled with bugs B basically what people are saying is that they want to ruin call of duty and what people don't want is another halo situation right now get rid of the overlap like they have their people activision blizzard have their people and they're probably going to choose the microsoft people that were already working there as compared to the new employees that they just got with their big merger when they bought the company for 70 billion dollars well we're not hearing anything about microsoft employees taking over these vacant jobs at Treyarch, company ward sledgehammer or anything like yeah. that they're probably like busy doing helicopters with their woolies uh, trying to make some moolah. They just straight up got rid of all these people. And I'm wondering, and of course I'm concerned, what is the rest okay. of Modern Warfare 3 going to be like with Sledgehammer Games losing 30% of their staff? Treyarch had a bunch of layoffs as well. Well, their game is scheduled to come out here this year. Like, how is that going to affect the development in the remaining development of that game? What about... I, I think it's safe to say it's like Joe over for Call of Duty. That That's what everybody's saying right now. Man, this started off really really good i remember when like they first bought it even i said it and i'll still say i do believe that phil is gonna do the right thing and i'm saying that as somebody who plays on the playstation i don't have game pass i don't got xbox you know what i mean but but i'm 50 50 with this one now I, I said it before i'll say it again bro either it's gonna turn out to be like an amazing thing or it's gonna be worse than halo though and i, I don't want to see this be worse than halo but i'm at a point where like i i don't necessarily care if call of duty turns out to be trash or good obviously it would be good that it turns out to be good uh, and, and not trash the reason is simple right because i've been burned many times man and sick as ass who burned you man who burned you what happened Skiza? what happened i've been burned many times and right now i'm at a point where i don't care about call of duty the way i used to i still care i love this franchise and surely i want to see this franchise succeed because there aren't many games right now what are we waiting for gta 6 but that's it that's literally it yeah call of duty 2024 maybe the next battlefield game is gonna be good M yeah we need some single player games as well uncharted versus uncharted man i want another god of war game i want that game i want this game i want this 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 i want all of it hell i want all of it but right now gaming is really really dry so for the sake of this i hope 
Call of Duty turns out to be good. But other than that, man, like they have burnt me so many times that I just don't care for uh, Call of Duty the way I used to. And I want to know your thoughts on it too. Do you care for it the way you used to, or you don't, or you love it more? Uh, you uh, let, let me know, man. COD 2025, which is going to be a sequel to Black Ops 2. Like right now, everything is up in the air. We don't know how COD is going to be affected by all these changes and the downsizing that went on yesterday. But just like I mentioned in my previous video, losing people always sucks, right? It sucks when people lose their livelihood. I've seen some people yeah, say, well, yeah. maybe they're just trimming the fat. Maybe they had way too yeah, many people exactly, working on yeah. the game and people weren't doing a good job or whatever. You know, I try to really err on the side of, I don't want people to lose their jobs. I mean, in this economy, in this world, right? Now, in the, that's a very uh, good point. And I see like where he's coming from. Like even I don't want to see like people lose their job. Like that's the last thing. I don't want to prey on anybody's downfall uh, unless they're really scumbags, right? But, and here's the thing. A lot of people are saying that these devs are sitting on their ass, you know, uh, sniffing their farts doing absolutely jack uh they they were designing skill based magic and not listening to the feedback this and that and maybe that's true i'm not gonna be like the homie nero or like anybody that says that yeah man don't fire the devs don't fire or be like yeah fire the devs fire the devs now nah, bro i'm not saying that i'm saying if the devs that are uh, if the devs are good don't fire them if the devs are incompetent and they're not fit for the job absolutely they should not be working there they should work somewhere else where they're good at basically hire people that are good for the job and truly though we do not know who they fired exactly did they fire the devs that sit on their ass and sniff their their the farts or did they fire people that are actually good now there have been few like devs that came forward that it feels like that they were really really good for the job they were not designing bbc bundles they were not designing like 20 dollars microtransactions they were not making skill-based matching and, and they were actually good for the franchise and they had like good experience so we have yes we have seen like those devs uh post over on twitter and say that yeah man like they fired us bro like they fired us we were at this for years and we did a good job I, they never they didn't say uh like they did a good job because that would be sucking your own schlong but uh, you know the community watch i mean the comment section was very very positive and everybody said that yo i didn't believe i don't believe it i cannot believe that they fired use which tells me that they were like good asset uh to the to the game to the franchise to the company but but it, it's kind of like mixed right now it's very very mixed they fired 1900 devs so i i would like to believe that they fired some good apples and also some bad apples it's kind of like like mix it's a yin and a yang right uh we now like it, that really does suck and when these people leave you know we don't know exactly what they were responsible for in the game like was this the guy that made some bug or something like that like probably not like is this the guy that came up with skill-based matchmaking and works on every single day probably not, well, probably not. it's probably yeah. the guy that added something interesting to the game or worked on something interesting to the game and now we're losing those people and you guys know as well as i this is where i was going to get into the, like the positives of modern warfare 3 it seems like every year they come out with a couple of new features a couple of new bells and whistles to try to make people get more excited for the game yeah. and give them new things to try out yeah but just like one or two feature but hey, 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 hey. they come on with 20 billion 20 dollar bundles okay i know this is a running joke it's uh, running old but i still love it it never gets old come on guys it never gets old that's uh that's the identity of call of duty right now but that's a very good point and this is something that we just touched on recently guys hand on top of this bottle of water okay like trust me <laughs> they didn't they have not fired people that make the bundles they have not fired people that they made the skill base match again. those are the last people in, in fact in in fact they aren't even, they're never gonna be the last people because they're never even they're never even gonna think about firing those suckers that made the skill base match making that we all collectively hate okay i know some of you are probably sitting back uh, you're reaching for that cookie put that cookie down okay some of you are probably saying that now nah, bro i love the skill base match again. That, but that's like very few of you put that cookie down right now okay put that cookie down the problem is how However, it seems like there is so much turnover in the games industry and especially in Activision Blizzard that one game will have one feature, which is like really cool. And then it's never iterated upon again, like the headquarters hey. back in COD World War II, uh, the Prestige Master stuff that they started doing over a number of years. For some reason, they got rid of that entirely here in Modern Warfare 3. And I know some of these opinions are going to be a little bit spicy, but some of the things that they've done to make people want to sign in and play the game and give them something to do have actually been pretty good, in my opinion. I've been saying for years uh -huh. that we need more. Ha! Ha! 
more to do in COD. Like, they kind of got rid of, like, the 100%er challenge system that we saw back in games Damn. like Black Ops 4. I personally enjoyed that, but it wasn't everybody's cup of tea. But without having that, and without having prestige mode, basically it just feels like when you play COD... Yeah, if you're they, they did one of the dumbest thing ever when they removed the prestige uh, system from the game. It's like, I, I hope whoever they hire back, I'm not even sure if they're going to hire people again or not. Because Microsoft, like, listen, man, I said it before, I'll say it again. Microsoft and PlayStation, they really don't care about you. You need to wake up, okay? You need to wake up. I know some singers are like uh, the Sony point ponying the F out of this, x botting the F out of it, and their console wiring. Listen, sure, sure, I love the memes. Sure, I love the sauce. I love the drama as well. I, I love the, I love the memes. <laughs> you know, I, I do love the memes. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm not gonna deny. We all love a little bit of banter, like right? some lighthearted jokes here and there. That's fine, though. But when it gets serious and when suckers actually um, <laughs> use it as though somebody insulted their mother and get really, really angry, I mean, damn, bro, what are you doing, bro? They don't care about you like that. They never did. They will never. The day you pass away, I said it a million times, but and I'm saying I'm gonna say it again because it's true they're not gonna care the day you pass away they're just gonna be sitting in their mansion and they're gonna be like damn man we lost uh, 0.00001% off of our income man had it been that second did not console ward we would have made a hundred dollars more a year off that dumbass but look at him he passed away. That's how they treat us. They treat you and I as numbers. They don't care about us. So my point here is that we, you and I, everybody, all the gamers, toxic gamers, good gamers, everybody in between, Sony, Pony, Xbox, Nintendo, we all got to collectively come together and we should not like fight against each other. We should be like, yay, you know, make online free. Give us good content. As a brown man though, as a brown man, I demand for free online. As a brown man, I demand good Call of Duty games. Oh, my bad. As a brown man, I demand good games for the entire society, okay? I demand good games, bro. Well, that's what I demand for right now. Or like camo grinder, room. you know, you go and get your interstellar camo, then it's like, well, what the hell do I do now? There's not really much for me to play for. And here in Modern Warfare 3, they took steps to address that, right? They took steps to make it so you want to sign in and play the game. You have things to work for, whether it's all the different camo events that have been happening. I think we've had like over half a dozen of them or something like that since the game came out. There's one happening right now for crying out loud. Whether it's camo event challenges or the weekly challenges, which I think this system here is fantastic. And who knows? Maybe the person that came up with this is one of the people that got the action yesterday thanks to microsoft i have no idea but having these weekly challenges show up every week that you can do in multiplayer zombies or warzone or any combination of the three and then you get rewards in the form of aftermarket parts which are kind of like an iteration upon the operator mods that we had back in black ops 4 but regardless i mean new attachments come to the game that fundamentally change the gun and sometimes they're kind of shitty sometimes you get like an optic sight that should never exist like that you guys know what i'm talking about don't ask me the name it's jack something but that optic sight is like freaking terrible but you have things like the four round burst and the Holger. I'm like, well, this actually feels pretty good. I actually kind of really like using this. Or you take the AMR submachine gun and then you make it so it has like a, this dual fire mechanic where two bullets come out every single time. Like, it's not the best gun in the world, but it's interesting. So like, every week you have these challenges to do and you have these rewards to go for. And at the end of it, you get a brand new camo. And then the armory unlock system. I know this was controversial. I know a lot of people didn't like it. But for me, it was fun being able to unlock things kind of at your own pace. Like, you could unlock things faster the more you yo. won and the more challenges hey yo what are we talking about right now i thought this was gonna be like a drama video bro like what are we talking about bro <laughs> bring back the drama bring back the drama you did encourage the community to actually try to win games which i've talked about that in the past like what can they do to try to get people to play the objective in cod well we did see mostly things we need new content not just like three four maps at launch bro. Like, skill based matchmaking that. back towards the beginning of the game where people were really trying to win because they were trying to get their armory unlocks then you could choose the order at which you can go through your armory unlocks there were some issues like certain challenges requiring you to use items that you don't even have unlocked yet but they eventually yeah. got that stuff all sorted out or you could use default classes like mm. having little things like that in the game definitely has made it feel better and again going full yeah, circle yeah, here back yeah, to yeah, it yeah. this is the kind of thing they put together with wow. the employees that they had working on modern warfare 3 which they threw together in like 16 months or something like that like imagine that's crunching wild. and over time 16 wild. months just to get laid off at yeah right that, and, and the thing that's so crazy here is that Phil Spencer and Microsoft did like promise to everybody that we're gonna make a good environment. It's gonna be good for Call of Duty. You know, come here, join us. And the thing that absolutely sucks is that those people were like falsely promised that, you know what, once you leave Activision, 
and you be I, I mean Activision is still there, but you know uh, you once you leave the Bobby Kotick's regime and, and you join the Phil Spencer regime, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be all uh, all sunshine, rainbows. We're gonna go together, collect sunflower seeds. We're gonna we're gonna nobody is gonna spank the female employees no more. We're gonna be working together. We're gonna make the best Call of Duty game ever. And uh, guess what? Like fast forward to now, they fired half of them. <laughs> Yo, Phil Spencer just did a Thanos now, bro. Like, I, I don't get it, bro. That's kind of wild, though. That's kind of The end crazy. of it. Like, I can't imagine how those people feel. I really can't. Yeah. But if COD is going to get better, and it's going to get more expansive, and we're going to reach more eyes, more players, and more platforms across the world, how are we doing that necessarily yeah. by getting rid of all these people? And guys, this literally just happened. Check this video out. We had insane drama that just went down with the homie Call of Shame and Bad Boy Beeman and the Cheaters. Check this out and I'll see you right there.